Hi, good evening. My name is Ben Cook. Uh, Jimmy, Jacob, and Scott are the other team members, and we are Obit Street. Please, please. I want to introduce you to my, my friend, Michaela. She was born in Omaha, Nebraska, and died tragically in Houston, Texas, uh, last year in, in 2012. And as you can read on, Michaela was born in Omaha. She had parents. Michaela survived by her husband in Texas. Visitation with the family was on a Friday from 5 to 8. This was posted about a year ago in November. So a year ago, I had my Facebook blow up while I was watching the World Series. As my friend Michaela was struggling for her life, people want to know what's going on. No one really wants to say on Facebook in a public forum about their family, hope they make it. And this is all 900 miles away from her hometown. And I'm 500 miles away from my hometown. And Facebook and five lines of text is not the right way to honor a friend who tragically died of a brain aneurysm on a soccer field. Okay, there has to be a better way. And so our answer is Obit Street. Right now we are a visual obituary enhancing the way we honor or remember our loved ones. So we're providing a space where we can grieve, share memories, share ideas, talk about this in a, in a safe place that's not Facebook, LinkedIn, or some other social network for the living, if you will. We want to honor those people in a more visual way and not just through text. We want to enhance the local connection so that the newspapers of the world can share those stories and talk about those things and, and acknowledge what they've done in our community. And then, of course, we want to enable deeper search with obituaries. Right now, it's first name, last name, your state, and possible time of death, like year, okay? But how do you know about your high school classmates? How do you know about people in your town, people similar in your age? That is not possible right now. Every day, or every year, two and a half million Americans die. That's about 6,800 people every day. So our friends, our families, our communities, the general public, people that read obituaries every day, there's more than you think. Uh, newspapers and the funeral home industry are all, all open to this idea. We have multiple streams of revenue, including affinity groups, so fraternities, sororities, schools, churches, um, things that we are a part of as we are living our lives. Uh, member upgrades to expand what you can share online, pictures, videos, things of that nature an affiliate program, uh, flowers, uh, gifts, things, uh, causes you want to do to honor those loved ones and our heroes. Third party partners to gather and push and share data. And then ads, and there, right now competitors have ads and it's, it's typical banner ads. And it's, this is not about Black Friday specials. This is about things to help life planning, wills, uh, flowers, things of that nature. So today we are the visual emotive obituary, creating a visual remembrance of our heroes, our friends, our family, our loved ones. But tomorrow we are really creating a one-stop shop for helping us prepare, plan, and celebrate our legacies. Okay, so we are going to share as we live our lives and share and help our families plan, ourselves plan for our futures. And I miss Michaela. Thank you, we'll take questions. Uh, we also want to shout out to the mentors and coaches, especially Tracy for our help in design these last two days. Thank you. <laughs> Judges, your three minutes starts now. Can you go through the revenue models again? Sure. Um, so basically we kind of have a site we go through the so the affinity groups we've talked to people like Jesuits or fraternities or universities where they'll post a name and that's they list people who have died. Again, there's no info in that. So if you don't know the person you can't learn about them. Um, so they would be interested in, in actually having a more expansive part of their website or way to share information. Um, member upgrades so plug in into their website? Yeah. So we want to host that stuff you know like um, newspapers partner with Legacy.com to help actually <laughs> host the data. And so we want to be that, that source of information. Um, same with funeral homes. Basically, they, they take the form, they send it to the newspaper, and then they, they take that print and put it online with no enhancements whatsoever. So it's very text. Um, and then others targeted ads to help with will and preparing for your death and planning and all that. 
what, what did you actually build this weekend? So, the screenshot is actually a, a template. Um, so we have, we have the sign up and the login, and then we have the cards. And we have tons of other ideas. So it is not pushed by, but it is working locally. Um, we have kind of a, a plan of technology on how to add, add and enhance. Are there like distribution channels that you could work with so you have to build your own? Uh, is there something you could white label for local papers or at, where do they hold this occurred? Is there a central repository of obituaries that you could replace in order to achieve distribution or compete with? So legacy.com sort of does that. So we can it was a little hard. We did talk to one funeral home, we didn't get too much far with newspapers, but it doesn't seem like there's a central global site. Legacy is the closest by working with newspapers to get that data pushed to them to host it. But again, it's just a re-pushing of text. And so we want to change that and take the text. But it's easy to take that text with tags and make it visual. So yeah, that just we think we could white they could white label our service with the paper or the funeral home or the school or whatnot. So we could brand our product to the Who's a strategic buyer? Uh, in a in a crazy way, maybe Facebook. Uh, Legacy.com isn't really big enough. There's lots of little pieces, so it depends on if someone or a big media company thinks this this is worthwhile. Uh, the death record shows a lot of data, like uh, just vital statistics. So maybe someone would be interested in that space to data mine. Still the time we got. Thank you.